sinners. Yes. I'm just, I was the chief of sinners. <laughs> you know? Come on, girl. My mom, after all that rape and all that stuff happened, a couple months after not, my, my mom was always the one, like I said, we grew up together. She was only 15 years younger than, older than me. She was always the one that would always, you know what I'm saying, come and see me in the penitentiary, put me in the rehab, just always try to fight my addictions and battles for me, methadone clinics, man, I've been, a, everything you can do in addiction, I don't believe, I ain't done everything, I've done it, my mom was always there and she, man, she, uh, we got a big, big fight and I was cussing her out and telling her how much I hated her and she had a heart attack three days after that and she died on me. When she was 50 years old, she just died on me, man. Mm. She was dead woman and then she was gone. I never got to tell my mom I was sorry. I ain't never got to tell her how much I loved her. I didn't, I didn't get to tell her that, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to forgive her. I didn't ever, it was permanent. Death is permanent. Y'all know that. And it was it. My mom was just gone. The last thing she heard me tell her was like, F you and I hate you. That was what she heard. No. <coughs> so I just, my mind was blown at this point. At this point, I'm 34 years old, and I'm, I'm insane. I can't take no more. And I did, a, I did believe that I had gone too far. You know y'all feel like that in mm -hmm. You just, there's a line that you cross. It's an imaginary line, but you know when you cross it, you feel like ain't no hope for you no more. Like you have just gone too far. You have become amoral. Hey, I, I felt that way in my addiction. I was sitting in the arm, I, I, because of shooting dope and stuff, I had, I had hepatitis C, C too, so I have been real sick physically, and I mean, just all kinds of horrible stuff was going on. I was in the hotel room, and I was laying there sick, throwing up blood, just, just an addiction, just losing the battle, y'all. Satan almost killed me in mm. the hotel room, and uh, for whatever reason, I, I just, I lived to see another day, but the reason why he just let me live to see that day is he knew I was coming up in here. Yes. He knew I was going to make it here. And, I, and when I did make it here, I seen all these people, and they were happy, and they were telling me about Jesus, and I was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't I didn't understand. I seen all these people, we call it soul blows, but I, I didn't understand about a soul blow. Because all I knew was darkness my whole life. That's all I'd ever walked in. But um, mm. I had Crystal Jesus. and Nicolette and Big back there. These two girls, man, they loved on me when I was. And Chris, Mama has one hating me. I was horrible <laughs> up in here. I was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Like, <laughs> they showed me just like I didn't know how to be anything but horrible. You know, I didn't, I didn't know. I was I was broken and I was scared because I, I I lived the life I know it like you know I've been homeless and hungry and. Hustling and hustling and battling and battling and you know I was just tired. You know my only person that really loved me was gone. My mama was gone. You know, you know as a dope fiend, your mama gonna love you no matter what. Mm -hmm. What's they gonna be kind of like? Mm. If you don't know Jesus, you're just lonely. You know I was very lonely, very broken. And I remember coming in here. And like I said, throwing myself on this cross, and I was kind of like bargaining with God a little bit. I was like, "If you, if you, if you the God they say you are, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Let me see it, cause I'm not believing that." Mm. Did it? My girl. Some of us, you know, oh, us, you know, because I've wasted all my my whole life. I wasted for the devil. So when Jesus got me, that Holy Spirit shot right through me. I got, I got, I got that fire quick in me because he, he had to prove to me what could be done. Jesus. He had to prove it to me, and, but he did prove it to me. My, I, it was like a, it was a change like overnight. It was like I, I don't even, I couldn't keep up with it. I, it was crazy. I was walking around here and I would say things that I wasn't even supposed to say. My brain wasn't even know. You know, it was, I was fast tracked. Just had to fast track me. Jesus. But um, oh. this has been the best I mean, I, this year. I've met the people. I, I I can't even describe to you my soul blowing sisters that I have in my life. I've met people I ain't never supposed to meet. People love me that should never love me. I've been <coughs> in places I, I should never be able to be in. I've done things I should never be able to be able to do. I, you know what I mean? I got a group. This the Calvary's back there for me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'm saying he'll nudge you and tell you, you know, you gotta let this do. You gotta let this do. You 
that was his go-to girl. <laughs> you know, but he'll call you and tell you the things that you have to let go of at certain times. And I remember one time thinking, this, I ain't going to be able to do it all. You tell me I can't cuss, I can't smoke, I can't do the whole of this, and I feel like, I feel like I'm going to fail, but God's done that stuff now. He works for you accordingly. Yes. I've been saved a year, and I just, I'm four days in, I'm smoking up. All right, you know, yes. So he's not like, don't get overwhelmed and feel like, oh, if I, I want to serve Jesus, but I can't because I can't, I can't give up all this. Come things. on, that's good right it's there. It's not. Don't get overwhelmed with it. All you got yes. to do is say, just come up in my heart, and maybe he'll just let it go out. Yes, yes. Here, right? And what needs to be taken out, it just gets taken out. I'm not saying that I don't still fail. I, sometimes I get real, real upset, and I'll be saying, I'll come to you know, but I get upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get convicted after I say it. If I do wrong to one of my sisters, I get convicted and I, you know what I mean? He'll lead you. The Holy Spirit, that's when Jesus left, he said, I got to go to heaven. You know, y'all know what I'm saying? I got to go to heaven. I'm going to leave the Holy Spirit to guide you. He gives us dot to dot instructions. Yes. That's what he does. It's a map. Wow. You got to read y'all Bible, y'all. I used to hate Bible time up in here. Chris used to make me sick with that. I couldn't talk. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, when I got out, that Bible, that's what saved me. Because when y'all get up out of here, y'all know them streets is just, everything is still the same out there. Y'all, the only things that's changed. Hmm. Like, one change out yes. there. Them streets still them streets. The devil's still working them. Nothing's going to change but y'all. Stay up in your Bible because that, that's how I made it. Mm. That's how I, you know, it talks about it being your sword. You know, I know y'all are some soldiers. I know y'all been soldiers on the street before. You got to flip it. I call it hustling for Jesus now. Some people don't like it when I say that. But, it, you know, you have to do that. You know, I, we give it our all the way out there in the dough game. Yeah. We are 100%. We are fully committed. Yep. yep. Every day, 24-7. But then Jesus will flip it for your heart, and you'll get fully committed to him. Amen. Amen. And I'm high, I've had a sh- this is, this is some Baptist people, so I don't want to offend y'all. But, you know, <laughs> you get it from the Holy Spirit will just come running through you, and it's the biggest high. You'll, you, you'll get that fire in you. And yeah. So so come on, crazy. girl. You won't freak people out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't do that. But, you know, don't, you're still going to have struggles. You know, I feel like, you know, like they call us baby Christians. And, you know, like when you first have a baby, it's an infant baby, and you can take care of it, give it a milk all the time, hold it, don't let it drop. You know, you know it's like a baby. But then it gets a little bit older, and you let it start walking. And then, you know, like, um, it might fall a couple times, and but you let it fall because it's got one on the wall. Yeah. So I feel like that's what happens. Like, I, I, my first year as a Christian, everybody was like, I was a baby, so they didn't let me drop. And then after a while, I'm starting to drop spiritually a little bit like people were you know my heart just got broken a little while ago a couple weeks ago and hmm. 